For getting into details related to writing basic SQL queries, we'll be using retail data model for this section. It contains six tables. The table list is this. We have orders and order items, products, categories and departments, and customers. Orders and order items are transactional tables. Products, categories and departments are non-transactional tables. These tables will have data related to product catalog. Customers is a non-transactional table which have customer details. When I say customer details, it contains information such as name of the customer, email ID of the customer, phone number of the customer, etc. When you think about websites like Amazon.com, in each order there can be multiple order items. At order level, we have attributes such as date, customer, status, etc. Each order might have multiple order items. All the items related to an order will go into a child table of orders such as order items. That's why we have one too many relationship between orders and order items. Also, there is one too many relationship between products and order items because a product can be ordered from multiple orders and each order can have multiple order items. Order items is the one which will have the details with respect to products and hence we have one too many relationship from products to order items. Both orders as well as products are parent tables to order items in this case. There is one too many relationship between customers and orders. A customer can place as many orders as he wants over a period of time, but there cannot be more than one customer for a given order in a typical e-commerce platform. There might be some advanced platforms, especially B2B, where there can be multiple customers for a given order. But in typical B2C platforms, there will be only one customer for a given order. There is one too many relationship between departments and categories. Also, there is one too many relationship between categories and products. There is hierarchical relationship from departments to products in this way. Departments is the parent table. Within each department, there are several categories. Each category have group of products. So that's why we have one too many relationship from departments to categories and then categories to products. If you think about platforms like Amazon, electronics can be one department, groceries can be another department. Within electronics department, there can be different categories. One can be related to televisions, another can be related to game consoles, another can be related to computers. And within each of those categories, there are several products. Similarly, if you think about groceries, there are different types of groceries like frozen, vegetables, etc. They are called as categories and within each category, there are several products. In the case of vegetables, you have carrots, cauliflower, capsicum, etc. So that's why we group the products into categories and then categories into departments in a typical e-commerce platform where we have hundreds and thousands of uh, products uh, that are being sold using the platform. So this is the data model which we'll be using for our uh, exploration related to writing basic SQL queries which include projection of data, filtering the data, joins, aggregations, etc. Make sure you are comfortable with the data model so that based upon the problem statement you will be able to think about how to use these tables to come up with the solution.